mail. Um, so Jeremy sent me an email saying, hey, you wanna, you wanna do this Shakespeare thing for social media? And I kind of uh, felt like doing it right in the moment. So this is what I look like right now. No makeup. I don't wear makeup anymore. I don't see the point. Um, I felt really resistant to being on social media and doing anything like a live concert. So I figured that while I felt like it, I had to seize the opportunity. So here I am. Um, how am I engaging with Shakespeare? I don't know. I'm not, um, I guess I'm dreaming a lot. I think part of my process as an artist, as an actor, as a writer, as a singer, um, is finding time to dream and I usually have trouble doing that, finding enough of it, and right now I'm finding a lot of it. Um, so I'm dreaming a lot, which I feel like is kind of unofficial prep for whatever <laughs> I'm going to be able to do, however I'm gonna be able to gather and perform whenever that is able to happen. Uh, Honestly, I get a little scared when I think about how long it'll be, uh, but I'm also really enjoying the time. Uh, so the, the Shakespeare piece that um, kind of instantly came to mind for me was this monologue I did once when I was training from Richard II, which is completely the wrong casting for me, but what is wrong casting, right? Jeremy cast me as Henry V, which I never thought I'd play either, so fuck it. I'm gonna read the Shakespeare that I want. And I haven't written, I haven't written, I did not write this. I haven't read this in like six or seven years. So this is the first time I'm reading this and I'm just capturing the first time I'm reading this, but it's stuck in my head for a long time as just something that, a piece that I liked. No matter where, of comfort no man speak. Let's talk of graves, of worms and epitaphs, Make dust our paper and with rainy eyes write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. Ooh, I did that the other day. And yet not so. For what can we bequeath save our deposed bodies to the ground? Our lands, our lives, and all our bowling brooks. And nothing can we call our own but death and that small model of the barren earth which serves as paste and cover to our bones. For God's sake, let us sit upon the ground and tell sad stories of the death of kings, how some have been deposed, some slain in war, some haunted by the ghosts they have deposed, some poisoned by their wives, some sleeping killed, all murdered. For within the hollow crown that rounds the mortal temples of a king keeps death his court. And there the antic sits, scoffing his state and grinning at his pomp, allowing him a breath, a little scene to monarchize, be feared and kill with looks, infusing him with self and vain conceit, as if this flesh which walls about our life were brass impregnable and humored thus comes at the last and with a little pin bores through his castle walls and farewell king. Cover your heads and mock not flesh and blood with solemn reverence. Throw away respect, tradition, form, and ceremonious duty, for you have but mistook me all this while. I live with bread like you, feel want, taste grief, need friends. Subjected thus, how can you say to me, I am a king? Whew, now I know why I picked that. <laughs> oh man, I feel like uh, I didn't remember at all what was in this monologue, but it really talks about how this experience, the whole world experiencing the exact same thing at the exact same time makes us realize both uh, how connected we are, even when we're disconnected, and um, how how what like like being a king and power and these things that we build up are all taken down by death wow this is really deep and dark anyways <laughs> uh, here comes my family screaming so uh peace out